I will be discussing two approaches to reduce or eliminate the expression of gene A. Jesus Christ. RNA interference is a sequence-specific method to silence genes by introducing small double-stranded RNAs. DSRNA binds to the protein DICER. And DICER cleaves the sRNA into smaller fragments, which can be siRNAs or miRNAs. siRNAs and miRNAs bind with proteins to form a risk complex that will base pair with mRNA either inhibiting translation or causing the degradation of mRNA. This is an RNA-based therapeutic, which is used to treat transthyretin-mediated amyloidosis in adult patients. Amyloidosis is characterized by the deposit of abnormal protein called amyloid in multiple organs of the body where it should not be. Here, the siRNA is designed to correspond to a specific gene target, but the siRNA is synthesized by drug-like properties which provide stability and conjugation for delivery. Modified siRNA penetrates the cell membrane and harnesses the RNAi mechanism. Gene silencing achieves a therapeutic effect. The CRISPR-Cas system is a prokaryotic immune defense mechanism to cleave invading DNA, but has recently been used for eukaryotic gene editing. The first step involves adaptation. The system starts invading phage and plasmid DNA segments into CRISPR loci. This system is adapted to target other genomes to allow for genome editing. The second step is RNA processing. Here, the host transcribes and processes CRISPR loci to generate mature CRISPR RNA, containing both CRISPR repeat elements and the integrated spacer element. The last step is RNA interference. CRRNA detects foreign DNA and forms a complex with the foreign DNA. Here, the system uses guide RNA to cut a specific unwanted sequence, and it pairs with the DNA we want to cut out. Another DNA sequence must be added that carries the appropriate sequence we wish to implicate. Here in this example, we have our target DNA. We also have our guide DNA, which guides the Cas9 system to pair with it and cut out the unwanted sequences that you see. CRISPR has also been used to target HIV. If I wanted to reduce or eliminate the expression of gene A, I would choose the CRISPR approach because RNAi could interfere with the wrong RNA. CRISPR targets a specific sequence and replaces that sequence with the desired DNA sequence, meaning it can induce both insertions and deletions. CRISPR could also target many genes at once. High specificity and variability makes the CRISPR approach more favorable.